Let's take a look at the Make It button in Cricut Design Space on your iPad. It's in the lower right corner of the screen and it's got the green C on it. Now remember, the Cricut is only going to make what it can see on your canvas. So for example, I don't want to make this image, so I'm going to go to Layers and hide that image. So now the only thing visible on my Design Space Canvas are these three hearts. So that's the only thing it's going to actually make. Now I have each one of these hearts as a different color. So when I hit Make It, Cricut already sets it up so that each one cuts from a different mat. So I would load red, maybe cardstock, on this mat and cut that. Then the next one is pink and the next one is purple. If I wanted to rearrange the order, I click the rearrange button up on the top of the screen. And then these three little lines, I can click on that so I can drag the image down. And now I can reorder which layer cuts first. Um, if I wanted to make more copies, I could click in here and then on my keyboard, I delete that and maybe we make that five and hit enter. And now you can see it's cutting five of every image. Let's go back and make that just three. Another thing you can do is the material size. Let's say you're using a bunch of scraps and you know you have a little six by six scrap. So now I can change it and I can see, yep, I can still get my three hearts out of that six by six scrap. If I do that on the pink, you can see there's not enough room to get all three hearts. But if I click on the second screen, I can take this heart and say, move the object. And I'm gonna move it to that mat. And now there is enough room to get two hearts out of this mat. And I bet if I even rotated this heart and stuck it up there, I could go to the third mat and say, move that object to that mat. And now, yep, it looks like I have enough room to get all three on one mat. So that shows you how you can rearrange things. And now this mat, I'm going to change that to a six by six also. All right. If I was cutting this for an iron on and I needed to mirror my images, I could click the mirror on and it automatically is going to mirror everything on that mat. If I decide I wanted to go back and adjust this at all, I can just click on the canvas and it would come right back. Now, once I know I have everything set up for the correct size of material, mirror on if I need it, I would hit continue. It would then connect to my Cricut cutting machine and start um, prompting me to load the different colored mats in order to cut this material. I hope that helped you to understand all of the various ways you can move things around or edit things even while you're in the preview screen for the cutting mats in the Make It screen. Make sure to like my video and subscribe to my YouTube. Thanks.